It turns out the brains have lipoproteins. We can characterize them by their buoyancy or density. If we put it in a centrifuge tube, it would sink right to the bottom because it has the density of a peripheral high-density lipoprotein. Yes, the brain has HDLs, but they're somewhat different than the HDLs that are floating around your plasma, except they have the same lack of buoyancy or they have the same density. And there's a density range within these particles fall into. So we're going to talk a lot about brain HDLs, but and it's going to get complicated. Don't think that the HDLs floating in your plasma can cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain and perform whatever functions HDLs form. The brain will make its own HDL density lipoproteins, but brain HDL particles cannot leave the brain and enter plasma, and plasma HDL particles cannot cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain.